So something that I've covered on the channel in the past is the fact that I'm a type 1 diabetic. And I'm not going to cover all of the ins and outs of what it means to be a diabetic and all that stuff. But all I will say is that sometimes it can be quite daunting on a person. And how does one person get over such sad times? By looking at memes, by, by Reddit. That's literally what we're going to do today. Is There's really not much else I can give to explain what's happening today. <laughs> if you guys want me to react to any particular subreddits or any videos or anything like that, leave a comment down below uh, or, or message me on any of my social medias and I'm sure I'll get back to you and I'll see what I can do about making a video with it. Would have been helpful if I had set this up beforehand, but now I'm doing it now. When you're full, but you already took insulin for the full meal. I've been there so many times, and you know what? It only ever happens when you're out and about. It only happens if you're at a restaurant. Not only do you not get the accurate um, nutritional information, let's say, you also have to predict how much you're going to eat. It's worse at buffets because you inject for, let's say, two or three plates, for example, hypothetically, and then shit just hits the fan because then the walk back to the car is the droopiest shit ever because by the time you've ordered a dessert to sort of pick yourself back up you're already halfway dead There's, yeah you are you're halfway dead <laughs> when i have a low blood level in a text exam concentration and it's gone south park memes are brilliant <laughs> another story here i went low at the end of one of my IT exams at school. And so in my, when you're a diabetic in school, you're allowed to take your uh, blood meter with you. You're allowed to do that. And because I'm an idiot and because I've done all of my exams and had no faults, I thought, you know what? I'll leave it, there'll be no issue. And then at the end of my IT exam, my A-level IT exam, I went low. And it was the most awkward shit in the world. I mean, when you're low, you don't have the strength to put your hand up and say, there's something going on here. So I just kind of sat there for the last 20 minutes, put my head on the table and went to sleep. I mean, I should probably pretend this by saying I had finished my exam, I was done. But I kind of just sort of sat there and when I woke up, I felt like crap. To realise that everyone else had left the hall and I was the only one there and I couldn't communicate because I was that low. So, that diabetes is dangerous, man. It's so dangerous. Wow. We've all been there. Carbs wise, this is gonna set me back, but I don't even give a shit. <clears throat> me for my entire teenage years. You sort of sit there and you just can't be bothered. A typical teenage trait is just not care and not be bothered. And this was how I dealt with stuff. Just eat whatever, worry about it later. Then you get to your 20s and you realize that that's not a good idea. And that class is how you calculate your insulin dose. That's a bit dramatic. And I would know because I'm dramatic. Um, no, it's 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 really not that difficult. You get given a ratio or you get a set amount at a set time. It's one or the other. There's there's no complication. Doing that angry exercise so you can just eat the damn snack. I used to love the amount of jealousy I would receive from a PE classroom by the fact that I had to eat before every PE lesson. Everyone would just sort of be getting ready and I'll be there dressed five minutes earlier. Just there eating, I don't know, any kind of breakfast bar or something. It, it was great. I, I was allowed to eat whenever I wanted. I got given specific rules. Actually, I think I've got my card somewhere. Two sex. This isn't the one I was thinking of, but that's my uh, diabetic card. It basically said, fuck you lot, I get to the front of the queue in the canteen. Next shout out goes to the Thomas Aveling School. The Thomas Aveling School. And I'm not talking about Thomas the Tank Engine and his friends on the railway here, mate. I am talking about the Thomas Aveling School, mate. Upset them, they'll Aven you, mate. Diabetes is crazy because I'll just be there minding my own business. Then suddenly if I don't have a banana right fucking now, I'll literally die. You will literally die if you don't eat. It's mental. There is so much shit that you can't do. Basically because you've got to eat all the fucking time. It's quite sad. It's quite sad. This is, diabetes is a sad thing. My T cells when they see insulin producing cells. Who the fuck are you? Identify yourself. I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm not saying that last word. Are T cells the American version of white blood cells? 
Yeah, T-cells are important white blood cells. Okay, that's cool. Life hack. Use your shoe organiser to hold your candy after the diabetes takes your feet. That's brutal. That... <laughs> Do I explain this without getting too morbid? Ah, uh, fuck it. I'm only on 56 subscribers. It's fine. So, diabetes takes your limbs. If managed incorrectly, you lose your limbs. You can go blind. There's many more things that can happen. So that is actually really clever. When my glucose is too high and I want to eat, this content is not available. Oh, that's the fucking joke. <laughs> oh no. On that note, I'm gonna leave it there. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my new channels, they'll be in the description, go subscribe to them. If you've enjoyed this, let me know if you wanna see more. Uh, and I'm going to go and inject myself. See you later.